What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy. So I finally got this Lego castle done. I just need to piece these three major pieces together. I bought two of these, if you haven't followed my other videos, and got the instructions off rebrickable.com, put together two of them, and we're going to take a look and see what all is here. First off, before I put these together, I want to show you the pieces that are left. That's all figures, so those will all be put together, so those don't really count. Um, not many dark gray. Not many black. i got to put the skeletons in the castle, too. And some good pieces to use for my landscaping, terraforming, so that doesn't matter. And pretty decent there. Just a couple extra reds. And a couple of these. So... Some of these pieces um, that the builder used in this actually do get used. He created a little like undead army because you do get two skeletons because you got to have, I think, Jang Bricks says conflict in a box so with Lego. So you actually get some undead army attacking the fort or something. And they build a catapult. It's a pretty cool build. Um, I did screenshot it. And here's that picture just for reference. I think that's a totally custom thing because I don't remember seeing it in this book at all. Um, yeah, or the other one, since it's a, oh yeah, here it is, never mind. Yeah, it's similar to this, it's just a little bit different. Um, yeah, that catapult, I think he uses a little bit more gray than the brown. But anyway... That's what that is, so here's that picture, and then we'll get this put together. Okay, so I wanted to put this together for the first time on the video. That way you get my reaction to see what this thing looks like um, in real time. Now, one little thing to note, that does pop up, just like the real one. Um, four wide, so it's a little bit wider across the front. See our knights protecting. Okay. We'll go through the side. Here's the back. Now each of these have hinges. So we can open up once it's uh, all totally complete. And we'll do that too. So get all this thing popped into place. Um, our first thing is going to be this side. As I pop that off. Okay, so you can see that little blue pin there. It's gonna go right in there to one of those clips. And this is really similar to the actual set. Um, for this side, the thing that changed, as you can see here, so basically it's this entire tower is what's been added on. And it's a little, just a tiny bit longer, because you can see this extra one here is not there in the picture. Okay. And you can see it doesn't want to stay on. Unless you're really careful with it. And I'm sure it'll pop off again before I get it. Um, actually, let's just look at the inside, because it's just going to pop off again. So this is pretty much all the same. We've got our fireplace. And... Living area, throne, whatever you want to call it. We've got our lookout tower in the back. We've got our forge. That wheel, the water wheel, is the same. They've done that probably three or four different times in sets where you turn the wheel on the outside and it moves this hammer up and down. Let me try to do that. Yeah, see, we just moved that wheel. And that's all I'm doing is turning this. Okay, we're back. Try to get this done as quick as possible. So we lock that in. And this side, I oh, guess I need to move it way back. Okay, so this one is actually the biggest change. So as you can see, the only thing there is a tower and a short wall. What's that? Two bricks there. So this whole tower, yeah. So this whole thing and basically from here up is all 
the addition when you buy two sets and use these instructions off rebrickable.com. At the very end of the video, if I didn't mention it, um, there I've got a screenshot from the builders page if you guys want to go there and buy these instructions. Um, at the making of this video, I did check today on Amazon. These are $100 regular priced on Amazon as of right now. I saw they were on sale for $91.97. So you get eight bucks off. But hey, eight bucks is eight bucks. Um, yeah. If you're getting double VIP and gift with purchase from Lego.com, yeah, you're better off to get it from Lego.com. But it is what it is, just to let you know. So our little jail down here, um, that's where the skeletons bodies are got our little bread thing this door it, it pops off but it's not gonna pop off easy there it goes so we've got just a little protected area and you can see how it's double clipped on there I don't really like that I'd rather have uh, be able to open it um, the outside we've got our hidden Way to get in the jail or out of jail okay let's pop this on and it's gotta be popped on in the back you can see right there i want to get it lined up right okay so there's our back okay i want to try to do this without it doing that that's lovely. That's why I wanted to do it in real time. And it's way in there. Okay, so we're not going to worry about that piece because it's way down in there. Oh, yeah. Toilet is right away over there where the yellow is. Yeah, this area here, that's the toilet. So there's a hole right here. <laughs> but here is our completed castle. Okay. What do you guys think? I think the builder did a pretty good job. Now the last thing to show you is going to be the opening of it. And man, that piece does not want to stay on. So open it up. And here is what it looks like all opened up. That looks pretty cool. I will admit that, that I am very happy. I bet that was bothering everybody the whole video. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. So as you can see, um, I'm gonna show this back page of the instructions just so you get a, a better idea. Let me see if there's a better picture. Not really, but okay. So all that's been added, we come over you can see the back tower, that whole thing there has been added. And then just a little bit wider overall, more living space here. Anyway, what do you guys think? I like it. I think it's going to be a great addition with my Lion Knight's castle. And my original Black Falcon and my uh, Castle in the Forest Bricklink set, along with my other castles. And the, I think it goes well with the... Uh, the blacksmith shop. What do you guys think? Let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone. Check out the uh, builder's page at the end here. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer them. And we will see you in the next video. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're new, like and subscribe, please. I do a lot of Lego stuff. It's not just castle stuff. We got city, farm, space, Spongebob, I'm looking around Mario, we got uh, Marvel, DC, we got all kinds of stuff. We'll see you in the next one.